Yo, what is up all you guys and dudes? We're back here with the Seattle Mariners franchise on MLB The Show 19. We are here in the ALCS. Obviously lost the first two games to the Oakland A's. We're going to look to even that series up today if we possibly can here with games 3 and 4. So sit back, relax, hold tight, grab your popcorn, and let's get it. So here we go. These are the lineups for the teams here in Oakland. Paris Allen, of course, leading off for them again. They have a DH. Nick Martini was going to be batting second for them. Jeff Malone's all the way down near the bottom of the lineup today. That's kind of surprising. And for us, not too much of a change as we definitely want to have Nakajima and Mortero in the lineup as well as Escalera. He's just been playing better this playoffs than any opportunity that Domingo Santana has had. So here's Paul Blackburn. He is going to be on the mound here, has his team. His team is up two games to none, and right away to Malik Smith, he's going to give up a base hit, and that is always dangerous if you're going to do something like that. Malik Smith, quite the guy to have on the base paths, but it is Xander Bogarts who will ground into a double play. To put two outs up on that scoreboard. Crush Davis going to come up. He's going to hit one into right. And Piscotti cannot handle it out there. So Crush Davis on first base. So do we have enough to get anything going? Ryan Healy. Dribbler over to shortstop. Taken care of. And we go to the bottom of the inning. Where Marco Gonzalez takes the mound for us. His second start of the postseason. There is a big long shot there for Paris Allen. But it's... Going to easily be caught by Escalera. Now a 3-2 pitch to Martini and Gonzalez. I don't know. That one hit the corner, but it is called a ball. And then the next batter is Chapman. He's going to come up and get a single. So two on with only one away here for Gonzalez. A 3-1 pitch to Olsen, and that one is called a ball for so base is bombed with one out for Piscotti, and he's going to walk as well. Marco Gonzalez is going to walk the first run of the ball game in. So now up comes Pinder, and he is going to ground into a double play. That one is going to end the inning. So now top two, it is Anthony Rendon going to hit one over to left, and that's going to get caught by Pinder for out number one. So now Mitch Hanniger comes up. He's got that one going out to center field, but it's easily playable out there for the rookie Malone. Base Nakajima coming up, and he's going to gap one into left center field. That's going to be an easy double for Nakajima. And maybe we start a little trouble here as up comes Mortero, hitting one into left, but that will be caught out there by Pinder. So that ends the threat for our Mariners. Now Murphy going to lead off here in the bottom of the second. A dribbler over to first base. Marco Gonzalez with a terrific job covering. So now here's the rookie Malone. He's going to strike out. Big pitch by Marco Gonzalez getting the K there. Now Jerickson Profar going to strike out. And that's going to end the inning. And we are going to the third. Here's Escalera up to bat. He's going to hit a really high fly ball, but it will drop in fair territory. So we're going to get Escalera on first base. Now Malik Smith going to rip one out to right, but that one is caught out there in right field by Piscotti. Here is Bogarts up, and he does the same thing out to Piscotti. He will line out. So now Crush Davis up here, and he's going to strike out on the off-speed pitch. And Blackburn gets through the third for the A's. Here's a big hit for Paris Allen going the other way this time. And that'll also be a fly out over to right field that time. Here's Martini, the DH. He's going to dribble one back to Gonzalez. Gonzalez, easy throw on to Healy for out number two. That'll bring up Matt Chapman. Chapman's going to dribble one. That's going to get through, and that gets past Rendon for a base hit. 
And that'll bring up Matt Olson, the first baseman with two out. And he's going to hit one deep out there to left, and that will be taken care of by Escalera for the final out of the inning. Up comes Ryan Healy for us to lead off the fourth inning. He's going to lead off with a base hit. So we have a man on. Here's Rendon. He's going to gap one into right center field, and that's going to bring Healy around to third. That's an easy double, and we've got two in scoring position with nobody away here in the fourth. This is a huge opportunity, but Hanniger wastes it with a strikeout. And that'll be the first out of the inning. Here's Nakajima, and not going to live up to his base Nakajima name, but he will get the game-tying RBI. So now Mortero up, and having trouble there is Paris Allen throwing on to first. He can't get him out, and the Mariners take a 2-1 lead. Escalera, however, easy play to the second baseman. Fielder's choice ends the top half of the fourth. We go to the bottom half. It's Piscotti, and that's a deep fly ball to left field, and that will tie the Oakland A's in this game. 2-2, two, two, and the crowd going crazy, but there's a big strikeout from Pinder, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Here's Murphy, the catcher, and he is going to fly out into foul territory as Escalera makes a great play. That'll bring up rookie Jeff Malone here with nobody on and two outs, and he's going to line one, a uh, ground one up the middle for a base hit. And that was going to put a dangerous man on the base paths for Jerks and Profar. And that's going to be a stolen base for Malone on a very bad pitch from Gonzalez. So Profar now going to line one into right. And that can't be taken care of by Hanniger. And that will score Jeff Malone. The rookie is going to give the lead back to Oakland. As it's going to be a 3-2 game now. So now Gonzalez gets Paris Allen swinging to end the fourth inning. And we go to the fifth down a run here. It's Malik Smith who comes up. He's going to line out to third base. And now we got Bogarts. He's going to ground up to short. Can't take care of it. And Bogarts will beat it out for a base hit. So here's Crush Davis. He's got that going back. Back and out of here. Crush Davis instantly gives Seattle the lead back with a two-run blast here in the top of the fifth off of Blackburn. And now we got Healy up. He's going to dribble one on to shortstop. That's an easy play to make, and they will make it. So now Rendon up at the plate. He smashes one up the middle. Blackburn lays out to get out of the way, and it's a base hit. So now up comes Hanniger. He is going to hit a blooper out to right field, and that will be taken care of. So we go bottom five. Gonzalez here. That's a line out from Martini. Now Chapman up. He's going to ground over to first base. Not handled correctly. Thrown on to first and cannot get him in time. So Martini's on the paths, or Chapman's on the paths, that is. So Olsen going to hit one out there deep to right. That's going to get taken care of out there in right field. No advancement at all. So now we got Piscotti. Piscotti going to ground over to second base. That's going to be taken care of on a fielder's choice to end the fifth inning. So we will move into the sixth inning. And Junior Mendoza going to take the mound for the Oakland A's in his sixth postseason appearance here with a 3-6 ERA. It's Nakajima. And that one chokes him up a little bit. That's going to be easily taken care of. So now Mortero comes up, and that is a high fly ball into center field. And that one is easily taken care of as well by the rookie Jeff Malone. Here is Escalera, and that's another one that is lifted out to right field, and that will be taken care of for the third out. So three easy flyouts. We go bottom six, and there's Gonzalez giving up the double down the right field line to Pinder to open up this bottom half of the sixth inning. And now Murphy, the catcher, is up, and that's double play depth right there. Big double play for the Mariners as now they just got to get Jeff Malone to get out of this sixth inning. Here is Jeff Malone, and he's going to hit one down the right field line, and that is easily going to be a base hit for him. Doesn't go extra bases. Good job of the Mariners holding him there. 
So now it's Profar, and he's going to hit one in the left, and that will be caught by Alfredo Escalera as we move into the seventh inning. Tommy Canely in his fifth postseason appearance has pitched four and two-thirds of scoreless baseball this postseason, and we'll see what he can do here. That is going to be an easy little broken bat taken care of right there and then here into center field that one's going to come off of the wall for Bogarts he's going to get to second on a double and Bogarts has put himself in scoring position here in the seventh for Crush Davis who has one high fly out to center and that is going to get taken care of and put away for out number two Bogarts no advancement and that'll bring up Ryan Healy who has one deep to left field and it's in the second row for a big two run blast. Ryan Healy doubles up the A's it's six to three and Ryan Healy with a huge home run here late in this game top seven so Rendon back to the pitcher he'll get taken care of for the final out. And we bring on Joe Jimenez to pitch in this eighth inning. This is his second appearance. His first one did not go very well. We'll see what he does here as he strikes out Paris Allen to start the seventh. And now on a 3-2 pitch, that one just misses the plate. And Martini going to get a free ride over to first. So now we got Chapman, and that's another K for Joe Jimenez. And now he's got Olsen at the plate. He's going to beanball him. And Olsen's going to get a pass to the base pads. And that's going to be two on with two away here for Piscotti, who laces one into center field. And that is going to load the bases up for Pinder. Huge moment for Pinder here. And he is going to walk. So Jimenez walks a run in. And that'll bring up the catcher, Murphy. This is a long way to go for Hanniger, And he is going to get there and make the final out of the inning. So... Two runs have been walked in today from our pitchers. And now Shane Green going to come in his sixth postseason appearance right now. He's pitched five and two-thirds. Here is Hanniger, and that's laced into center, but that's going to be caught. Beautiful play by the rookie, Jeff Malone. So now base Nakajima is going to get beanballed right on his right butt cheek. And that is going to put him on first base. So now here's Fernando Mortero. That's going to be a nice little grounder into the outfield right between third and short. Now in comes Escalera, and he's going to ground one over to third base, ending the threat with a huge double play. And now Sam Tuivailala going to come into the game, Huskers' favorite player on our whole team. This is his second postseason appearance. He only pitched a third of an inning last time. We'll see how deep he goes this time as this one is going to get grounded into the shift and beautiful coverage by Tui Valala on that one. So now a 3-2 pitch. It's a broken bat fly ball, and that's going to get taken care of over at shortstop. So now we got Paris Allen up at the plate. He's going to ground one over to short. Bogart's going to get it. He's going to throw on to Healy, and that will be out number three. Liam Hendricks is going to come in to pitch for the Oakland A's. He, this is his third postseason appearance. He has a 10.8 ERA. His ERA has been awful this postseason. We'll see what we can do against him as Malik Smith going to come up top nine, and he is going to fly into center, and Jeff Malone will take care of it. So now here's Bogarts. He's going to ground one over to second base, and that's going to get taken care of by Profar for out number two. So now here's Crush Davis, and that one's a high fly ball into center field. That one doesn't look like it's going to have enough power, and it will not. As we move to the bottom of the ninth inning, a chance to get a game here in this series. And Ken Giles, who has pitched two games for two saves so far, is going to come in here in the bottom of the ninth, facing Martini the DH, and there's a liner to second baseman. Steven Nakajima taking care of that one. So now bottom nine, it's Matt Chapman, and he's going to fly out into center field. So now it all rests on Matt Olson, and he's going to strike out Ken Giles, going to get the save here. His third of the postseason, and the Mariners have now cut into this Oakland lead in this ALCS. It's now two games to one, still in favor of Oakland. Ryan Healy, the player of the game, with his two-run blast. But at that point, we had a lead, but we wouldn't have won without that two-run blast, as it turns out. 
with the walk-in run from Joe Jimenez. So as you can see here, everybody on the team got a hit except for Mitch Haniger. Did not have a great game. Gonzalez, 5.06 ERA this postseason. He didn't have the best stuff today, but he's able to come away with a win. And as you can see for the A's, it was really all about Matt Chapman and Steven Piscotty and Jeff Malone at the plate. A lot of other guys really didn't do much. Blackburn, he matched Gonzalez in not having the best outing, but it was Tommy Canely who really gave up the game. So now we're going to go into game number four. It is Justice Sheffield. It is Blake Snell. You can see the lineups here. Not too much changing, but Nakajima moving near the top of the lineup. Chris Santiago going to get the start at second base. Oakland will go with the exact same lineup. Let's see what happens. Malik Smith going to lead off this game, and that one's actually deep to left. Malik Smith hits a leadoff home run. That is not something that the Seattle Mariners ever expect to see from their leadoff hitter, but look at this. Malik Smith, the dangerous guy on the base pads, does not need to be on the base pads as he hits himself a solo shot to start this game. So now Steven Nakajima batting in this second hole. He's going to line out to right field Piscotti with the grab. And we bring on Bogarts, who's going to hit one out to center. That one also going to be taken care of. That one by the rookie Jeff Malone. So now here is Healy, and he strikes out to end the top half of the first. But the Mariners, 1-0 lead. Here's Sheffield. That is a way off pitch, and that's going to walk Paris Allen. So now that brings up Martini. Martini going to hit one in the left, but it is taken care of. Escalera, nice catch there. And that will bring up Chapman with one on. Chapman going to ground over to short. Bogarts gets it over to Santiago, who throws it on to Healy for the final out of the inning with the double play. Rendon going to come up leading off for us. And that one going to be a high five fly ball into center. And Malone will grab it. So one away, and there's Hanniger, and he's got one that will land into right field, and that'll put a runner on with one away. So up comes Mortero with the base hit up the middle. Two on, one away here in the top half of this second inning. And it's going to be Chris Santiago and the infield fly rule on that one. That'll be the second out. So Escalera's got to do something here, and he is not going to get it through, but they cannot... Make the play there at second base. Profar, bad play. It'll be scored a base hit. And the bases are loaded for the dangerous Malik Smith, who hit a home run before this one. Not even close, as that one's going to get taken care of for out number three. So Blake Snell getting out of some big trouble there. And now it's Sheffield with Olsen at the plate. And that's going to be a fly ball into right center. Taken care of. Malik Smith has it. And now Piscotti at the plate. Piscotti, easy out there in foul territory for Ryan Healy to make. And that'll bring up Pinder on a 3-2 count. He's going to hit one out to left, and Escalera has to track it down and does to end the second. We go to the third. It is Base Nakajima, and he does exactly what you would expect a man named Base Nakajima to do. So that will bring up Bogarts. Who grounds over to shortstop? They will take care of Nakajima, but they will not get Bogart. So we remain with one on, one away. It's going to be Healy, and he is going to fly, infield fly here. And that is going to be the easy second out. So now that brings up Rendon. Rendon laces one into right field, but that one is caught, and that will end the top half of the third. We go Murphy to the bottom of the third. He's going to strike out. That's pretty embarrassing for him. And that'll bring up the rookie Jeff Malone, who is going to bounce one over to first. Pitcher covers, and very nice play by Sheffield to cover that one. Now on the 1-2 pitch for Profar, and he will strike out, swinging on the 96-mile-an-hour fastball from Justice Sheffield. So now top four, it's Hanniger leading off. He's going to line out to second base Profar. That's going to give Fernando Mortero a try, and down the left field line, that'll be a single for him. And that'll put one on with one away for Chris Santiago, who's going to lace one into center, but an easy line out for Malone to make the catch on. That'll bring up Escalera, and wow, what a grab there at third base for Chapman. 
And Paris Allen will lead off the bottom of the fourth with another one of those foul territory flyouts for Ryan Healy. Here's Martini, and Martini has this one going out to center, and Malik Smith making a great play to track that down with his speed. The 3-2 pitch to Chapman, and that's a little high. Chapman will walk and put a base runner on here with two away. It's Olsen right back to Sheffield. Sheffield can't grab it. He's having some trouble there, and that's going to put two on with two away for Piscotti, who is going to line one out to right field, taken care of by Hanniger to end the inning. So here we go, top five. It is Malik Smith. He's going to strike out this time. So ever since that home run, really has not had the best rest of his day so far. But he did hit the home run. Here's base Nakajima. He's got this one deep out to left field, and that's going to land in and hit the wall. He will get an easy stand-up double with one away. So now it is up to Xander Bogarts, and he's got this one weakly flied out to right, and that'll get taken care of actually by Profar. So now there's the bouncer by Healy, thrown on to first to end the top half of fifth. So we're going to go bottom half of the fifth inning. Sheffield's still in. He's got Pinder up, and that's going to be a ground ball over to Bogarts, taken care of, and he gets the put out, Ryan Healy. So here's Murphy on a 3-2 pitch with one away. He's going to strike out, swinging on the 97-mile-an-hour fastball. So now 1-2 for Malone, and he's got this one on a rope out of here. Gone, and that is going to tie this ball game up. And finally, the crowd going to get into it after the energy was just zapped after the leadoff homer by Malik Smith. But Jeff Malone, the rookie, has now ignited the crowd. It does not continue, however, as Profar going to ground out to second base. So now we go into the sixth inning. But the crowd's back in this ball game. Anthony Rendon's got one going back. That's going to hit the wall. And he is not going to try for two. He will stay at first base with a single. But it is a leadoff single. And that's going to bring up Hanniger, who's going to get one past Profar. And put two on with nobody away for Mortero, who's going to ground out to third. That's going to be a double play. But we have somebody on third base. Rendon sits there. For Santiago, who strikes out, they throw on to first, they get him, and that will end the threat there. So we had a chance, we blew it. Here's Sheffield on a 3-2 pitch. He's going to walk Paris Allen. You never want to walk the leadoff hitter, as he did there, and that's going to result in a stolen base for Allen. So Henry Villalobos is going to come into this game. It's his third postseason appearance. He does. Hasn't given up a hit against a lefty batter yet. And here's a lefty batter, and he is not going to get a hit as that's an infield fly right there for Healy to take care of. And that will put the first away. So 3-2, thir and two, he gets the strike out of Chapman looking. So now 3-2 and two to Olsen. Another strikeout looking for Henry Villalobos. And he does exactly what he was brought in to do, give up nothing. Here's Escalera. He's going to ground over to Profar. Profar on to Matt Olson to get the out. So that's one away. Malik Smith coming up. And he's going to dribble one over. Pitcher going to take care of this one and throw on to first. And that is an out. So Snell able to take care of that. So now here we go. It is Nakajima with the base knock into center field. And now here is Bogarts, and that's going to land fair. It's going to be extra bases, and that's going to put two in scoring position here with two away. Shane Green going to come out of the pen for his seventh postseason appearance. And we are going to have Ryan Healy at the plate. He had a very big home run last game. This time he's going to get one to land into left field, and that will score two. So two RBIs in big spots again for the second time for Ryan Healy as Rendon strikes out to end the top half of seven. There's a walk to open up the bottom of the seventh of Piscotti by Villalobos. And that's going to bring up Pinder. Pinder going to hit this one into left, but Escalera able to make the grab as he tracks that one down. So one away. Here's Murphy, the catcher. He strikes out swinging 
on the 80 mile an hour curveball. And now a 3 2 pitch for Malone. And that one's going to be an infield fly taken care of easily for the final out of the seventh inning. We go to the eighth, and Tommy Canely going to come into this game for the A's, his sixth postseason appearance with a 318 ERA. And the first batter he's going to face is Mitch Hanniger, who's going to dribble one over to Profar. Easy out, number one. And that is going to bring up Mortero, who is going to ground one over to shortstop taken care of by Paris Allen quite easily. Now up Chris Santiago, and he's going to strike out swing, and that'll bring us to the bottom half of the inning really quick. Sam Tuivailala coming into this one. He hasn't had the best postseason. He hasn't had the worst postseason, but right away he gives up a leadoff hit. So now Paris Allen going to come up. That's taken care of on a little, like, bloopy thing over to Bogarts. And now it's going to be Martini, and that's going to be a straight-up fly ball over to Bogarts, and he will get the put out for out number two. So now comes Chapman, and he strikes out looking. Beautiful pitch from Tui by Lala, and that will bring in Junior Mendoza for the A's to pitch here in the top half of the ninth inning. So that'll be Escalera striking out, swinging on the 82-mile-an-hour off-speed pitch. Here's Malik Smith, and he connects really well with that pitch. That's going to get to the wall. Malik Smith will try for three. They're trying to get him at third. The throw is a little off, and Malik Smith with a one-out triple. Base Nakajima into the outfield, and that's going to get caught, but Malik Smith going to come home on the tag-up. And the throw is not there, so it is a 4-1 game in favor of the Mariners as Bogarts is going to get one to fall in right field off the end of the bat. Professional hitting right now from the Mariners here in the ninth. Here's Healy, and that one will just get caught by Paris Allen as he tracks that one down perfectly. And we go to the bottom of the ninth. Keith Lavette is going to get the chance here, his third postseason appearance. He had one extremely good appearance and one not-so-good appearance. We'll see what he does here. Right away, it's a base hit on a 3-2 pitch. And that's going to get the leadoff guy on for the A's. Then Piscotti, he's going to walk Piscotti. So that's going to put two on with nobody away, and the Mariners are not going to mess around. They're going to bring in Ken Giles, who has a zero ERA, three saves in three chances. He's going to go for his fourth save here, as that's a big swing and miss by Pender. And that is going to bring up Murphy. Big swing and miss. And Ken Giles gets the second out. Here is Malone. He's going to hit this one into left field, and that's going to load the bases here on Giles with two away so a big chance here for Profar and Profar actually does something for the A's as he gets that to land in left field that's going to score two runs and it's a one run ball game the winning run is now on first for the A's and it's Paris Allen up at the plate and that's a fly ball into left Escalera underneath and the Mariners have won game four it is now a 2-2 series as Ken Giles makes it a lot closer than it really should have been, but he does pick up the save. No earned runs on Giles. Those are charged to Levette. Henry Villalobos picking up the win with his two innings of scoreless baseball, and everybody on our team gets a hit except for Santiago. Sheffield pitched a very good start going five, only giving up one earned run. Levette. He's had one really good postseason appearance, but two bad ones at this point. So, obviously, he's still a young player, still a guy that, you know, has some time to grow, and he's going to need that time to grow. We might have to re-sign Giles this offseason. Let's see what ends up happening, though. It's tied 2-2. Colorado is starting to blow their lead as it's now a 3-2 series over there in the NL Guys, let me know what you think is going to happen in the comments section below. I will bring you guys the next two games in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video as well as subscribe if you're new to the channel and can't wait to see more franchise content all day every day here on Franchise Gaming. You're a pretty little star boy.